This is live. Okay. Hello and welcome to Divine Guide Dialogues. Today is Manifestation Monday and I'm Lisa Jones and I'm here with Golden Duffy. Nice to see you guys or <laughs> nice to be seen, I guess. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We are here today to talk about post big event funks and how, <laughs> <laughs> how like kind that. of sometimes after, whoops, I'm losing my, my uh, earbud again. Yeah. Um, how after sometimes we have big events, we feel really like funky the next day or, you know, a couple days after. And so we just thought this was kind of a cool thing to talk about because sometimes we end up manifesting not such great stuff. And apparently Golden has an amazing story <laughs> today. Know, to amazing. Talk about. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's getting warm in here, so I've got to turn my fan on. But so, so what's going on? What so, I mean, or what do you have to say about yeah, that? I just woke up. You know, I had we had our baby shower, my daughter's baby shower in Phoenix this weekend, and that had been something that we were all really looking forward to. And you know, you plan for it, and you're excited about it, and then it happens, and it's over. And we had an amazing time. Like went out, what we just went off without a hitch. It was like beautiful. And then yesterday we had time to play in the pool, which was so fun, just our family. And that was amazing and so well needed. And then we came home last night and, you know, I felt fine and everything. And then I woke up this morning and it was just like, oh, wow, that's over. You know, the realization right. of that being over and just felt, I mean, I don't even know if I had that realization. I just kind of had this funky energy of just, you know, back to the, back to doing life again, you know? Exactly. Right. You know? Yeah. Cause and, your, your anticipation and your, you know, your planning and your, you know, you uh, like, I always view it as like, there's a pin on the map or something and you're getting to that point. Yeah. And then, um, oh, Hey Rita, welcome. Happy Yay. to see you here. Thanks for being here. And, and let us know Rita, if you've ever had any, you know, post post, um, like, I don't know what what are we calling this I think, like I, yeah I think just like funks in general because yeah, a lot of times like, we think that we're never supposed to have freedom. those you know yeah. we're not supposed to be funky especially us as spiritual teachers and all the things right. we teach it's like well I shouldn't feel this way right. and that puts you in huge resistance to it yeah so then it just kind of hangs out because you're in so much resistance to it and you're beating yourself up for feeling that way and I think the the key to funks is really embracing it and asking yourself, you know, what am I facing right now? What am I going through? Because if you don't, then you end up manifesting things that you really didn't want. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And I, I know you have a story about that, but I just yeah. wanted to mention, yeah. it's so funny that you talk about this because last night I was listening to um, Matt Kahn again yep. and, and the video, I remember it's called love is the only answer. And, okay. um, and it was so perfect right in line with, of course, right in line with what we're talking about today, because we're, again, as spiritual people, we're supposed to be light and love all the time. And, yeah. you know, and if we're not, then we get mad at ourselves. Like we go home and we, you know, berate ourselves. Like, why are we, why are we not happy? What's wrong with me? What's going on? And instead, if you just love whatever moment you're in, that's the idea of is love is all you need, but you love need that. to. You know, you just have to love whatever you're feeling as opposed to feeling like you always have to have this feeling of love. It's a it's yeah. a real shift. But anyway, yeah. so tell me about Yeah, because your I'm always trying to get out of it. That's my right. state. It's like, right. okay, how can I think a higher thought? That's always yes. my way of getting out of that. It's like, okay, where's the higher thought here? You know, and, and of course I could have meditated and brought in divine energy, but that right. wasn't even <laughs> I know, you know, sometimes when you need it most, that's like the last thing on your mind, right? Or you for me, at least, it. I'm like, yep. well, I, I don't have it within me to do this right now. So you're too far away from it. So when you just, we just did a little thing before the call and it just like, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, that's right. I can get back yep. in this energy that feels better. So I was stressing out all morning because I had to bring, not like I had to bring my daughter somewhere and then I had a client. And so I'm like trying to get to get home so I can get on this call. And my daughter, of course, is putting more things on my plate. And then I get in the car and I don't have any gas, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running them down to Laguna, which is like 15 minutes away. And I'm literally like 20 minutes from my call. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just take my call in the car, which I don't love to do because I like to be grounded when I do calls. And then I'm like, okay, we have to stop at a gas station. So we stop at a gas station and I have this brilliant idea of asking my daughter to watch the gas while I run inside because I have to get her oh, money yeah. because she doesn't have any money. This is just, this is like Monday manifestation at its finest. You know? Right, right. So I run inside and I get her money. Hi. And um, 
I come back out to the car and what I had said to her was not clear enough. I said, right. when, the, when it clicks, cause I just had it clicked. I wasn't even having her holding it. I was just, I was like, just make sure it doesn't like run all over the place. Just watch it. Right. But I didn't want her to right. touch it. Of course she right. touches it. She turns it on and pulls it out and gas goes everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> so it goes oh, all God. over her legs, all over her feet, all over the ground, all over my car. And I'm just like, oh, hell. So I give her the money. I'm like, here, just take the money. Let me go see if they have a bathroom. So I go and I get the bathroom key. So, of course, oh. this is making me later, right? <laughs> and I I'm know in it. shock. I know that it. is just terrifying. And here I am. I'm mad at her, right? I'm, right. I'm like mad at her, which is ridiculous because this poor right. little girl doesn't know how to pump gas, right? So then we, I go into the bathroom, and she's, like, trying to wash herself off. She stinks to, like, high heaven. Right, right. Yeah, get, gasoline is, like, yeah. the worst. We get back in the car. She can't – and I'm now I'm driving. Like, we're going to go and, t and get back on the road. She can't find the money that I just gave her. Oh, my God. No. It just gets better. It does. You're like, stop the insanity. So I'm like, oh, my God, you must have dropped it outside the car. So now I have to U-turn to get back into the gas station. Oh. So I come back in and I get out of the car and I ask this woman, I'm like, did you find any money? She's like, actually, the guy who works here just picked something up. So I ran inside and thank God he had the money. Oh, my God. Wow. wow. It was crazy. And at that moment, you're like, OK, stop the insanity. I don't want to do this anymore. So my mood actually lightened instead of getting really angry with her because I'm so aware of this energy Right. that I just kind of was like, okay, we'll just go in the ocean when you get to the beach and rinse your legs off. Cause I was really worried about just the gasoline. I said, you do know you're flammable right now. I so that we start laughing. I know. Seriously. That's my thought. I'm like, oh my God, don't get near a <laughs> Yeah, spark. You're like, flammable you're now. Fire. Don't go near the fire pits. At the yeah, yeah. You're going to like light on fire right now. So, oh my so God. And I laugh and it lightened the energy a little. <laughs> Well, yeah. So there's a great story of manifestation, yeah. like completely gone haywire, right? Yeah. Because yes. it was just, again, your frantic, right, yep. your, your frantic energy trying to, you know, get too many things done at the same time. And then, you yeah. know, it just, it just literally exploded. Well, let's not say exploded. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we don't want to catch anything on fire here. Oh, my God. Rita's saying laughing my ass off. Seriously. <laughs> totally. That's a great story. And it's like, if you can catch yourself in that moment and say, okay, I have a choice here to keep going down this road and allowing yeah. these things to happen to me, or I can stop it right now by joking around with my daughter or whatever. Yeah. And my client was fine. I was a couple minutes late. It was no big deal, but um, right. yeah, stop the insanity. Cause oh my goodness. Well, yeah. So a little tip that's just coming to me right now, just for, you know, for our listeners that are there. So if you are in a frantic situation, like, like what Golden just talked about, where things are just going from bad to worse to just horrific, um, really, that is a prime time just to take a breath. I mean, I know, again, it's like, you know, we have all these spiritual tools and, I, and you know, things that we can practice. But sometimes it's like calling in the angels is just too much, you know, at yeah. that moment. So it's really just just notice your breath and just really, you know, come into yourself and just breathe. And, then, and that's what will give you access to the angels. Because right. I wasn't even like, exactly. I didn't even know the angels existed in that moment. Right, I right. Just, yeah, <laughs> you get you get down that rabbit right. hole and it's just suddenly you're in a different world where there are no angels. There are no, yeah. you know, there are no spiritual tools to get you out of out of the situation. No, it's just so, me and this mess. And, right. <laughs> and I'm mad and it's somebody else's fault and this is happening. And um Oh, and keeping it in perspective, you know, it's like, really, yeah. is this really so serious? No, exactly. Exactly. I love that Rita says, you know, so on days like that, I start to ask Archangel Michael to take yeah. control here and it stops, which is so perfect. And it's great that if, if you have that awareness, but like Golden was just saying, sometimes yeah. you're so beyond, like you can't even yeah. think of who your angel is to help you in that I moment, didn't. you know? I didn't. Right. And I call my angels in on everything, but when some, I think when we're in those moods and we're, that's why I love to meditate and call in divine mind because when we're, you know, I had that instance where I was in bed and I was worrying and I was anxious and then I called in divine mind. And then all of a sudden I had access mm -hmm. to this whole other information and appreciation and love. So when we're in those lower vibrational states, it's almost like we're lost. Yeah. You know, and it's like trying to navigate. So, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. But I'm back. I'm okay. Well, now. good. <laughs> well, good, good, good. Yeah. Oh, so, so any advice on funks? Because people are going to go through these and 
you know, what, what are we to do about funks? What are funks all about and why are they necessary in our lives? Yeah. Well, I definitely, to me, the whole idea of the funk, especially after a big event, you know, for example, you know, after post, like going to a wedding, especially if you're a part of it or you're, you know, or like a a baby shower, like you were um, involved with. I mean, it's all of the, it's, it's the anticipation of the event Mm -hmm. and then the big event happens. Well, then it makes so much sense. Like it's the cycle of life, right? So you've had this peak moment where you're so happy and you're having so much fun. Well, then the obvious next thing would just be a dip in your energy, a dip in, you know, and so here's a great plan, a great tip. Yeah. Don't plan anything the next you know, day or two <laughs> yeah. after a big event and know, just have a knowing that, that that's what's going to happen and really yeah. pamper yourself. I mean, maybe schedule a massage or schedule you know, go get your nails done or just, you know, take a down day. Don't, don't take clients or if That's possible, a great idea. yeah, take the day off from work. But, yeah. um, you know, for so many of us, again, life is just like, boom, 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 right back at it and everything. And, Easy. um, Oh, Hey Tanya, great to see you. Awesome. That is uh, so, really good advice. Yeah. So that's my thought. Any, any ideas on your end? I'd love to hear what, what you think. Well, you know, when I'm, when I'm, um, when I'm really, I think when I'm really in these moments of low emotions, it's just, I I do my best to always try to navigate how to get back up. And I don't know if that's always like serving me because it's just my belief system that I'm always supposed to be happy and joyful. And so just relaxing in those moments when we're feeling those low emotions and asking ourselves like what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't bummed out about the baby shower. I've got this whole house thing going on, which is like, I didn't want to come home because I have renovations going on and I had to go and pick out flooring samples again, which is like just this huge giant waste of my time. Of course I got stuck in traffic, you know, (laughs) because it's a giant waste of my time. And, and so asking myself, okay, what is this really about? And then Mm -hmm. I went to see, I went to look at another rental because I was thinking about moving out of this house just because it's like tainted and contaminated. Even though we're going to get all this new stuff, I'm just like, I'm so done with just being here right now. Right. Right. Um, and then I go to look at this house and it totally smells like dog pee. And I'm thinking, and it was a fine house. My house is way nicer. Right. That house was $300 more than we're paying here. And I wow. was thinking, okay, this is just, this is healthy res- perspective for me. Right. To feel like I can get through any of this, you know, and, and everything's going to be beautiful and nice eventually. And I just need to just relax and be patient and yeah. calm myself. So it's like soothing yeah. yourself back into that, that mellower, calmer emotion. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so true. And I, and again, I think when things are in turmoil, it's almost yeah. like we want to get away from it. It's yeah. like touching a hot stove, right? It's yeah. like, ah, I don't want to do that. And so you you run to try to, to get away from it. Whereas if you just sit in it, sometimes, you know, we just have to sit in that discomfort. Yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes the greatest things come out of that, you know, when you're when you're allowed to just get through mm-hmm. it. And after, you know, after it's all over again, I, I always say that probably one of the best things that ever happened to me was my first husband passing away because it totally woke me up to life, even though it was, it was so devastating and so yeah. difficult in the moment. And even, you know, for years after, and I mean, you know, yeah. I still, I still deal with the the grief and the sorrow of, of his loss, but he completely woke me up to life and I'm so grateful. And, and so, you know, and that's pretty extreme, but again, when we have it, when we have funks or we have our lows, um, you know, it's just, it's just the cycle of life and, and what we're here for. And that's the thing. We don't, we can't appreciate the highs if we don't have the lows. <laughs> that's it. It's the contrast, right? It's like, we'd have no idea. It's like, if you always had all the food in front of you that you always wanted to eat, you wouldn't yeah. really have an appreciation for that really delicious food or, uh, exactly. you know, it's just, it's the contrast of recognizing that, oh, I don't, you know, when I, when I stepped, like it's, it was like the house that smelled like pee. Like I came home and I was like, my house does not smell like pee. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) It might be a little bit of a mess right now, but it smells really good in here. That's right. Well, see, and that's a great perspective because, and like you said, that's pretty, probably what happened today was just you getting that perspective. It just helps you look at it differently. Does, Whereas before you were having a hard time appreciating where you were, but now you're like, holy cow, I yeah. love this place. You know, exactly. it smells good. It smells better in here. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's our home. So it feels, it, I just, it's just settling back into doing what I have to do and not feeling like 
you know, because everything that we do, we set up a vibrational resonance for just like the gas filling all over the place. I was like, I was being stressed. I was being hurried. And so more of those things are going to show up for us. So it's like, what do I really want to resonate with is a great question when you're going through your day and you're feeling a funk. Asking yourself that will help you to start to clear some of the lower emotions. And maybe there's a day when you just have to sit in it. I mean, for me, a lot of a lot of it is hormones, you know, things like that to happen. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hormonal today and I just need to chill out, take it easy and not drive myself crazy. Right, right. Exactly. Hang out with teenagers too much. <laughs> yeah. And again, I love this whole idea that, um, again, I'll, I'll put in the name, uh, the Matt Kahn oh, video I, I watched yesterday. Love is the only answer. Um, And what he said is like, you know, again, for us spiritual people, we think that we have to be, you know, super Um, loving all the time. And the only the only right way to feel is to have a a loving feeling. He's like, what if you gave yourself permission to have an unliving, an unloving feeling like, whoa, like that's like, you know, that's radical. That's radical. But not only because then it does, then then you're not beating yourself up when you don't have those unloving thoughts or, you know. Um, you know, so anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's a great new perspective to, to look at. And it really made me like, it just kind of went, er, you know, in my thinking, cause it it was such a great way to look at it and just be like, yeah, cause you know what, even having an unloving thought is still spiritual. Yeah. It's your, cause you're never, you can never have an unloving thought that's not, within the divine connection because we're always connected even when we feel disconnected yeah that's right that's right that's a good point yeah i love that and i also love the thought that even if you get off track you know god or the universe will always like find you and and steer you back so so there's nothing to be lost other than just ah giving yourself a break you know yeah no doubt i don't think we do that enough you know i think we we're definitely hard on ourselves and just recognizing that lower emotions are part of our condition. It's part of who we are. And it's not necessarily that there's something wrong with us because we have days that are off and not, you know, yeah. I think the best thing to do sometimes is just not to do anything. Yeah, totally. I, the, yeah. I absolutely agree with that, especially when, when things are, you know, when yeah. things start happening and it's becoming this domino effect, you can just feel it. It's like, going. stop, right. Yeah. It's like, just stop, just go, you know, I'm going to bed. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I know that was me yesterday. I, I had a great day and then, um, I just, I got home and, I really wanted to go. There was a drum circle last night. I was so yeah. excited. I couldn't wait, but I came home and I just literally, I slept for two hours and then I woke up and I'm like, I was asking myself, do I really want to go down and get myself in that energy with drumming and all that? And I was yeah. just like, no, I just want to walk on the beach, you know, by myself. And I listened to this great music and, oh my God, it was so regenerating as opposed to like, I have to go do this other thing. I have to, you know. But I have you know to- what is another thing that is about ignoring our inner selves and, and, and we were talking about escaping today, you know, yeah. just escape. And then I'm like, I'm not drinking right now. So there's no escape from these feelings and even TV or, or going out all the yeah. time is an escape from our real emotions. So mm-hmm. just sitting there and being like, okay, what does my inner being really want? What do I want yeah. inside? Exactly. Can keep you from just being on this like hamster wheel all the time. That's yeah, absolutely. And I think that's part of it again in our culture. It's all about, you know, that success wheel and, just okay. As soon as you do one thing, you got to do the next thing, be and then busy, the next, be and then busy, the next. Be busy, yeah. And just how about just being, just yeah, you know, just sitting outside and just watching the sunset, or just sitting and just you know journaling your thoughts, or just really allowing yourself to, you know, tap into yourself and say what yeah. you know what would you like to do next? You know, and that's kind of how I'm treating myself right now. I'm kind of my own yeah. little my own little date. You know, like well. Lisa, what would you like to do today? You know, let's see. and then, you know, just go out and do that. It's just fun. It's like, oh, it's, what a great time in your life. That's so yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it is. Right. I'm living vicariously for you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, and by the way, so I've had this whole Maui thing going on. I'll tell everybody I'm going to Maui. I know I am, but yeah. I was, I can't, sh- I don't think I can show it on here, but I'll send it to you. It was, um, I was driving behind Maui Bob today. Was his ah. license <laughs> That is great. Like, there is a manifestation I can get by right now. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I know. It's And again, just I had some crazy um, manifestations over the weekend of kind of <laughs> just b- bizarre events that happened that crazy. you just can't really explain or understand. And then sometimes it's just, 
it's just the universe just kind of playing. They're like a comedian, you know, and it's just kind of funny. So, yeah. Um, anyway, just confirming, confirming that you're on the right path, that you're that's right. living life joyfully. And, you know, it's all confirmation, I think. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. if you're spilling gas all over the place, that's a confirmation. To you. That's your, yeah, that something needs to <laughs> not be happening right then and there. Well, cool. oh, well, should we bring in? How about yeah. we bring in a little energy? And um, I would love that. Can you do that for us yes. today? I yes, would love that. I know you're definitely yes. needing a little Hello. more. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. So take a nice big inhale and exhale, and another inhale and exhale. And we just call on all the archangels to stand around us at this time. Archangel Michael to stand behind us. Archangel Raphael to our right for healing. Archangel Haniel to our left. Archangel Ariel in front of us. We call on a beautiful stream of sunshine to come down through the crown chakra of your head and down through all the chakras throughout your body, down through your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral, your root chakra and then all the way down allow that beautiful energy to just continue down through your bottom chakra and creating some beautiful roots that that are growing out and going deep down into the earth's surface through all the layers of the earth all the way down to the very center of the earth and allow these roots to just wrap themselves around the center of the earth and then very gently and slowly allowing the earth energy to come back up through this root system all the way back up up through your all your chakras your root your sacral your solar plexus into your heart just allowing this energy from above and below to just meld and and just swirl right there in your heart center bringing it up through your throat your third eye into your crown chakra and allowing this earth energy then to connect to this higher energy that goes out into the universe. Just taking a breath here and just feeling that you're this person just standing right in between heaven and earth right now and you're just receiving the love of the universe and the support of the earth and know that all things are possible in your realm. And I call on the angels now and all the beings of love and light and whatever message they'd like to share, I ask to be a clear and concise channel at this time. Yes, and welcome. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to be here right now. It is a very difficult time on earth as there are so many upheavals and things shifting and changing, but know that in the long run, this is all for the benefit of all involved, that there is an awakening happening. It's a big tidal wave of awakenment that is happening on the earth at this time. And although things might look bleak and weary and upsetting for so many, know that it is just a transition in time in that the only way to allow for this new awakening to fully occur is to shake things up the way that they have been. There can be no forward progress without the dismantling of the situations that have been in the past, keeping everybody in bondage and separate from the universe, the creator, the one that is the source energy. And so just take notice that what is going on around you is not you. The only thing that you have control over is you yourself. And so when you find yourself getting upset by things that are happening on and around you, just to know that you can step back and always have control over what you are thinking and feeling about the situation. So if things are upsetting you on the news, then turn off the news and go out into nature and find things to enjoy yourself with. If things are happening in your personal life that you are not happy with, then step away from that. And again, go into nature or go and journal your feelings and your thoughts and take care of yourself. If things are happening in a job that you do not like or you are unsatisfied with your current situation, then now is the time to step away and look for something that is going to fulfill your heart. Because at the end of the day, all you have is the time that you have spent in the past and that you're creating each and every moment in the present. And so, again, there are always ways out of whatever negative situation you are. 
manifestation is purely that it is your thoughts becoming things and so you must start thinking of what you want instead of what you don't want and as we have seen today on this show we have seen examples of experiences happening of things that were not wanted rather than things that were wanted and it was because of thinking of things that were not in consistency with the higher self it was all about the lower emotions and looking for shall we say shortcuts and ways of getting too many things done at the same time and so then chaos ensues within your life and that's how these situations occur so again we just want to enlighten you to know that there are many many opportunities for you always to step away and to take a deep breath and to clear your space and to call on your angels and guides and to make a new decision to turn to a new direction and walk in a different way and you will have a new experience it is truly as simple as that so we send you love and blessings on your journey as it is a glorious one to be had and again if you are unhappy then that is just a symptom that you can change it for the better but also know that there are these times that as we as we were talked about during this episode that they come and go there are wave patterns and you have to just go with the ebb and the flow and to not overthink when you are in the ebb because that is the time that you're just gathering your energy for the next flow to happen so we send you blessings of love and light and to always follow your heart as that is your true beacon of your truth love to you all blessings thank you Ooh, thank Dang, you Dang, i feel like the angels just called me out <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh, again. It was I just so perfect. Yes, I love it. I just love, I mean, I don't know. They're just it's so, so fun to be so connected. Yeah, it's like so makes yeah, so much so sense. Clear, it's like, so oh, clear. So clear. I forgot. I'm supposed right. to focus on what I want. That's right. That's right. And again, you know, knowing that um sometimes there's just too much. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Rita. Um yeah, it's just so nice. Again, this is divine guide dialogues. We love both both the Golden and I channel and we love to bring in energy and talk about spiritual things and and again, you know, answering questions and things like that. So you can always send us uh, questions. I mean, they let Golden give the I always get the email mixed up. It's uh, divine guide dialogues at Gmail. Yes. And we're getting ready to launch the YouTube channel and we're also going to launch a Facebook um group page hopefully we can get that together tomorrow to just get that out there so you guys will be um you'll get the whatever reminders when we get on the show and yeah right. notifications and being able to like even just to find it when we're done if you don't get on live right right exactly. <laughs> um but that was really oh thank you so much that was wonderful oh, yeah. and just that was great oh my gosh got me back reminding me of where i belong <laughs> good 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 and yeah. i didn't meditate this morning I did not. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to so, miss this day? Or are you going to get it in I'm later? Not shaving you think? anyone's head. No, I'm not going <laughs> to shave your head. <laughs> yeah, we had this bet. We have, we're doing 100 days of an hour long meditation. So, yeah. um, no, I think I have to do it because I think it's the only way my night is going to be better than my morning. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's I, a good idea. I think I, mean, I might actually just do it now because nobody's home. So this would be the perfect. Nobody's perfect. asking me to take them anywhere. So, yeah. No gas needs to be pumped. No, and I feel I feel good, like ready for that right now. So the angels yeah. got me. Yeah, they're ready. That's wonderful. Well, wonderful. This was another fantastic episode. So yes. thank you so much, Golden. Love thank you. you. Love yeah. you and love you all for being here. Love you here all. And yep, for watching and uh, sure stay right. tuned for Wednesday. Yeah. We'll have Wednesday wisdom. Oh, awesome. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Hey guys. Peace Bye. out. Bye. <laughs>